Today's the day. Today's the long awaited day. We are finally going down to pick up our new motor. We had so many delays and so many parts had a long lead time. And finally today is the day. We literally have been waiting like the last like three or four weeks for push rods because we had all sorts of, we, I mean, we had a whole push rod saga and it's just been a long game of hurry up and wait for the past like year for parts. But we are actually on our way to get them. I left straight from work. I have a bunch of parts with me to put onto the motor to transport it back. And uh, we're going to get our 427 from Patriot Performance in Williamson, Georgia right now. I'm currently sitting in uh, Atlanta rush hour traffic. It's um, usually about eh, an hour and 40 minutes from my house and maybe like uh, an hour, 10 minutes from work. But today it's like two hours from my work since it's the Thursday before July 4th and it's rush hour, it's five o'clock. So yeah, I got a long drive, but we're headed down. And honestly, after all the waiting, all of the money, all of the time, I don't care if it was two o'clock in the morning, I'd still go get it. So excited to get this thing back. All right, I always drive like right past this place and I don't wanna miss it. Luckily for you guys, you didn't have to sit in traffic or ride all the way down here. I did drive by Rick Ross's house though, and what a castle. I mean, just another level. Just insane, this house. Oh, here, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is, we are go, oh yeah, see there's, there's Tim, okay. It's right here, it's right here. This is where we're going. Tim's like, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes out and he's got my motor, so we'll sit here and the motor's gonna come to us. All right, the motor's ready to be picked up. We're here at Patriot Performance with the owner here, Tim Estrom. Everybody, bring your motors over here because this guy is a fucking magician. This motor is a work of art. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. I can't believe it's mine. And we're gonna bring this thing home and get working on it. All right, we just made it home. It's about 12:30 at night. And uh, I'm gonna unload this engine and start dressing it up. I got a lot of fight left in me tonight. So I'm gonna take it out of the back of the truck and start putting some stuff on it. Much like everything else around here, that was sketch. All right, well, it's the next day. I said I had a lot of fight in me last night, but I only had a couple hours. I went in about 2.30 a.m. and I had to wake up today for work. So uh, let me show you what I got done and we'll close the video out here. So let's take a look. We got the engine plate cleaned and on, coolant adapters cleaned and on, uh, dry sump pulley and belt on. And let's see, what else do we do? Oh, we got the flywheel, clutches on, and that's about it. Actually, the cleaning of all the old parts took a long time and uh, I had one bolt that really fought me on the old flywheel since we had to replace the flywheel because the last one had moved on the back of the crank. So I had gotten a new one from ACT but it didn't come with the little bolts inside or the studs inside of it. So I had to take those out of the old one. That took a lot of time. But anyway, we're gonna keep working on this um, throughout this week and uh, I'll keep you guys up to date with what's going on. So talk to you next time.